Jam Monday featuring the 70s music of Mr. Dwight Sanford. But before we do that, Sherry's in charge and Sherry said, we got to talk about the weekend and we've got to feature a couple of country songs because he's going to do live. You brought two guitars today. You're really going to show out a little bit with your guitars. Is it because you picked up a 60s Gibson this weekend that you got to play and it yeah, revitalized? It pumping, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were lucky enough to um, actually went to visit and pick up some stuff at a farm. And as men do, you began talking guns and then guitars. Is that a subject men talk about a lot? Yeah, we uh, we talk a lot more so guitars with me, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then all of a sudden he said, wait a minute, I've got this Gibson, and then I could see the lights going off in your head, and you're going ding, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. And the next thing we know, you're sitting there holding this guitar from the, was it 64 or 66? 64. A 1964 Gibson guitar. Yep that this gentleman has had for over 30 years, and he always wanted to learn to play it, but he never did. So you said, let me, and then the rest was magic. The rest <laughs> was magic, and we didn't leave for a long, long time because everything led to another one, to another one, to another one, and the family was gathered around, and it was just a precious, precious night. And when I looked over and saw that Dad was tearing up, <laughs> I can't remember what song you were doing. That means I did a good job. That means you did a good job. When, when you did that, and I thought, this means so much to these people, you know what it reminds me of? Just a little kindness. Yeah. Which is a song you're going to do today. Yes. By and who? By who? James Taylor? No, not no. hardly. <laughs> it's, it by <laughs> it's that guy you don't know. What's his name? Glenn, Glenn Campbell. Campbell. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> See, he's already gotten me. It's yeah. Monday Music Mania. Yeah. Trivia, I do not. I need Bill Sinyard here. To this lady <laughs> rubbed noses with Glenn Campbell and didn't know who he was. <laughs> I did not. And, and you did tell me that you were going to do a Glenn Campbell song, and I said, oh, yeah. And I said, uh, what did I say it would be? Not Rhinestone Cowboy, but the other one. Um, Oh, heck, one that was more popular anyway. And then, he had a lot of popular yeah, ones. Yeah, he had a lot of popular ones. But honestly. He's Glenn Campbell. He's Glenn Campbell. He's like the guitar master. Mm -hmm. You know what? <laughs> when, we, when we think about that, Glenn Campbell, dementia, Alzheimer's. Earl Thomas Conley, dementia, mm, Alzheimer's. Sad. I tell you all the time, I think it's so <clears throat> important that we are capturing the music of this man because none of us are guaranteed a great tomorrow. None of us are guaranteed a healthy ending. None of us are guaranteed anything in this life except that we were given today and take advantage of today. That's right. Everybody's got to go. Everybody's got to go. And, and I told him, I, I chose something today I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of, he may smack me when we're off the air because I chose something on that was air. funny on <laughs> the air. <laughs> It'll make good ratings. Um, we had some talking about things that happened in LJ and some of the funnies that happened in LJ way back when. And I said, can y'all leave out names and let's talk about them on the air. So I've chosen a little tiny clip and it doesn't name but one name and it only says something complimentary about him, that he's an amazing driver. I think you said he drives like a demon. <laughs> Is what you Boy, said. <laughs> yeah. He could drive a and, car. And you might have been in the car with him once upon a time. But oh, he, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Several times. <laughs> Several times. Up until I promised the Lord Jesus Christ <laughs> that I'd never get back in there again. Yeah. If he'd let me out that time, and he did, and I didn't. <laughs> right. And y'all, it was a different world then. There wasn't a lot of traffic. There wasn't a lot of worrying about hitting somebody pulling out in the road because most people were at home, and it just was different. But y'all were talking about the old days here in L.J. and about the red dot and about a little bit of oil that once upon a time some mischievous boys must have put in the parking lot. No, on the roads. On the roads? Yeah, at intersections. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not yeah. good. We won't call names. <laughs> no. So y'all are safe. And I did <clears throat> delete the names on this. Yeah. this little, we're going we're gonna to show you a little bit of this and we're going to share a little bit of music. And then we're going to turn it over 
to really good, great music. And I look back at what happened over the weekend, and you did a variety of songs for them on the Gibson that they've had all these years. And they loved every single thing you did. And I would look at him and he would be smiling and he would tear up. And I looked at her and she would just be just glowing with, they were so thankful for this. And then when they brought all the kids in, the kids were sitting there mesmerized. And this was music of many eras. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just a little of this, it was all different music. When they're crying, I mean laughing while they're teared up. Yeah. That is called Butterflies Dancing in the Rain. There you go. There you go. I think there's a song about that so. in there. Yeah, think I think so. so. Yeah. I think so. But <clears throat> I told you this weekend, this right here, this is a George Strait CD. <clears throat> One of my favorite songs is on this CD. Did you hear what I said? One of my favorite songs. The rest of it, I don't like any of it. And so when I put this sucker in, it cost me over $11 for one CD. I came up with a game plan for you to take my favorites from this, my favorites from this, my favorites from two more CDs, and my favorites from some more, yeah. and create some new music. Seven total. <clears throat> and make fan favorites. We'll do it. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. And we have chosen some spots in these beautiful mountains to shoot some video, which I think will be amazing to also do a DVD that will be a great keepsake. One of the things I posted this weekend was, what song reminds you of coming home? And you know what one lady said? Dwight Sanford doing Welcome to LJ. Yeah. And I thought that was so sweet. Folks, it's like this. If all you've seen is the roundabout, you haven't seen Ella J. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's, there's way more to it. There is, there is. And from Cassius Valley to Boardtown Road to um, Roy Road to- Hills Creek. Exactly, that beautiful old home sitting over there that people ask a million questions about. Yeah. There's so much to see that you don't, you go to the grocery store, you go do your thing, and then you go home. Why would you choose to live in these beautiful mountains and not get out and get to know them? I know. And I listed a house yesterday that is right here in town. It is so close, you can about throw a rock and hit it from here. And I'm standing there and I'm looking at this amazing mountain view. It's kind of like your house up on Cox Creek. It has this amazing mountain view and it's in the city limits. It's so close. Yeah. And I thought, we have great views here in so many areas that people miss. So we want to encourage you to get out and to go see those spots. Now, living on 52 West, you happen to see some of the greatest views ever. I have a place called the Top Lot, I call it. And you can sit there and look straight at Grassy Mountain. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And on 4th of July and at Christmas, there's all kinds of fireworks going off all over Grassy Mountain. I probably didn't realize that, but mm -hmm. I see it every year. It's amazing, and, and it is one of those things that people miss it. They don't think about it. If you live on a creek and you don't take your camera out there or your phone out there and video that creek, you're missing part of living there. I know. Because that sound is something that you can't, you can't even create that sound in a studio, can you? No. No, it's something that only God can do. That's right. And so get your camera and go out there. Now, we were talking about the cover of the fan favorites, and you know what I chose for the cover? I don't. What was The it? camp. Yeah. The camp. Yeah. The camp. It'd be a good cover. The camp. And if but we we'll could... change our mind ten times. I'll tell you how albums work. <laughs> we'll change our mind ten times before the album, before the cover ever gets there. But that's a good place to start. It is beautiful. In the fall, I have not seen it in the fall yet, but I can only imagine oh, it's as beautiful. beautiful as it was in the spring what it will be like in the <clears throat> fall. And I just think that we need to capture that moment because you said it best, if you've only seen the roundabout in Ella J, you haven't seen Ella J. Oh no. No, you haven't seen Ella J. And so we want to get you out there, get you on the back roads, get you going to the places that you remember as a little boy. Um, I remember the churches always fascinate me and I love to go to the old country churches and walk through the cemetery. I, I even like to look at the old names that people used to I know. use. You know, it's just I really was at cool. Northcutt Cemetery just the other day. What a treat. That beautiful tree. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. 
absolutely beautiful. Now, <clears throat> did y'all get any rain this weekend? Because did we see a little bit of rain? Got a little rain. No, we got a big rain. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got big rain. Real big rain. Big rain. Leaving Dawson County, leaving Ball Ground, no rain anywhere. Approach Jasper, and let me tell you, the bottom fell out. And Jasper Tire, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so Jasper much. Jasper Tire, yeah, they <laughs> saved the day. <laughs> they saved the day. And they don't even know it. And they saved the stuff. And yeah. then you got out to look, and the water was four inches deep. Six. <laughs> It was crazy, yeah. but the rain came, and I hope everybody got some rain because, boy, did the gardens need it. Gosh, yeah. Now, speaking of rain, is there a song about rainy days? You know, I never heard you say anything about the mamas and the papas. Do you like their music? Love the mamas and the papas. See, he's never mentioned it, but I think about, what is that, rainy days and Mondays is uh, Karen Carpenter, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, and I then, thought you were going to... No, 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 I knew it was Karen Carpenter. Okay. Yeah, I've heard that a bunch. I uh, am the bloody red baron of <laughs> rock and roll trivia. He is, he is. And he's going to make me look so stupid so many times today <laughs> because all the music he chose, I don't know any of it. I know none of it. But I have an edge because this sign says the Sherry Show. I get to do two songs first. Yes, please. So we're going to do the Long Black Limousine. Now, we did this for from the living room? From the living room. Is that room. what we're doing? Yep. Okay. We did these kids that I think it was really cool because you said it's a very, very sad song, but we have a group of teenagers gathered around, and they know the importance <coughs> of driving safely because as a teenager, if you miss that curve, you might not make it. So they all sat around and they just listened. And they were, I don't think any of them had ever heard the song before. So you did that for them. There wasn't any talking while I was no, singing it. No, it was amazing. It was amazing. And they were just like almost reverent. So, so we're going to share that with you. But we're going to share a little blippet <coughs> of the event where I think this is you and Bryant Strickland talking a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And we were talking about <coughs> the things that used to happen in LJ. So if you've just moved to LJ, there's a lot of fun and a lot of stuff that went on in years gone by. And a lot of the old geezers that were there are still here. And we want to capture those moments. You know, that's what television can do. That's what an iPad can do. That's what an iPhone can do. We have the ability to capture the moment of these amazing men. Now, Bryant is a Vietnam vet. He is. And he is very proud of his service, and I yes. think he was a pilot. We thank him for that. We love him, love him, absolutely love him, and we want to have him here front and center next time we do a show. Well, hold up, so. hold up. Now I'm a geezer? I'm a geezer now? <laughs> now you're not old enough to be the geezer. Oh, I think I do qualify, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the geezers are our little Ed and our little yeah. Vic. <laughs> They're geezers. Oh, boy, that's as geezer as you get right there. <laughs> that's about geezers. But we I are want to be like them someday, though. That's the plan. <laughs> That's right. 88 years old. Yeah. We're going to share a little bit of music. We're going to share a little bit of fun from a couple of guys just reminiscing about the days gone by in LJ. So sit back. You're going to enjoy that. And then we're going to come back and live music. And you're going to get to hear lots and lots of live music. We do have three prayer requests first, though. Okay. First of all, I'll talk to Jen this morning. She's bald as can be. She has zero hair now. She's coming on Wednesday with a wig on. I can't wait to see her. She is chemoed up again, and darn that old cancer. And mm. Selena is doing great. I saw her on Friday, and we want to ask each and every single person out there to continue to pray for Danny Hensley as he continues to take chemo treatments <clears throat> and beat and whoop this awful, awful cancer. So let's yes. pray for a great outcome for all three of them. And, and a big shout out to everybody at ETC who joins together to pray for our viewers or our friends who are battling cancer. Yes. Because everybody gets together and that's one of the great joys of local television. We can come on here live and tell you that so-and-so's in surgery today at Northside. We can tell you that so-and-so's in surgery here and there, and we can tell you that we can gather together as friends and as neighbors, neighbors serving neighbors. Absolutely. And we can lift them in prayer. So yes. I got a call from my surgeon this morning and surgery is tentatively scheduled for August the 15th, if they can get an operating room that gives us enough time. And I said, well, please don't cut it short because they, they need the operating room. So 
So anyway, we're working on a tentative schedule for me to have some surgery, and um, I know that your prayers are going to get me through this, and I've always felt that way. I know that you come together, and as a community, we help each other from ball ground to Turtle Town. Yes. Is that right? You ever been to Turtle Town? Oh, many times. Many times. You ever crossed Kimsey Mountain? I don't think so. May have on that motorcycle. With an empty gas tank? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have. <laughs> You know, you knew I would have, so. Okay, we're gonna go to a little excerpt from our 4th of July, and we're gonna share a little bit of music from the Turner Family Farm, so just sit back and enjoy, then we'll be back live with tons of music. Sing the yeah. one about the Cadillac, but it's old country, y'all don't like that, you're young. Oh, yeah. They do? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, okay, here you go. <coughs> okay, I'll do this little intro and the whole bit. Thank you, sir. Sad song. There's a long line of mourners coming down. Younger than the mountains, 
Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. excited because the rest of the program is all rock and roll from the 70s and 80s yeah yeah and no it's 70s 60s and 70s 60s and 70s and it's stuff that you chose it's kind of easy going easy listening nothing wild and crazy no 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 kiss <laughs> <laughs> no stones no just good stuff on guitar hopefully yes yes and what's your first one it's by the box tops an old group I used to love. I'd listen to them down below Crossroads on that little brown radio while Mom was in the garden. There you go. And it would sound like this. It's called Choo Choo Train. I got me a one-way ticket home. Choo Choo Train. And all oh, my wild oats choo-choo have done been song Choo-choo train So don't slow down till you see my hometown Choo-choo train Choo-choo train I know you're not a jet aerial plane Baby's waiting at the station, so give me just a little more acceleration. Choo choo train. Well, I got a present for brother. Choo choo train. And I'm just dying to see my dear old mother. Choo choo train, so don't slow down till you see my hometown. Choo choo train, choo choo train. I know you're not a jet aerial plane. My baby's waiting 
at the station So give me just a little more acceleration Choo-choo train Choo-choo train Going insane Choo-choo train The little choo-choo train I got a gig for you. When we finish our new offices and we have that beautiful back deck overlooking the train track in ball ground, you got to come sing some train songs. Train, train. Because you know what ball ground has that LJ doesn't have? We got moving trains. Yes. We've got moving trains. The so train still <laughs> rolls through the middle of town. It does, it does. Okay, tell me what's next. Well, uh, you mean right now? Well, yeah, you want to do, you've got a long list. We've uh, only yeah, got about, 30 minutes. Yeah. And you want to change your guitars on me? Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Let's see here. Tell me what you yeah, want. Yeah, no, let's do this one. All right. And tell folks the difference in the guitars you've chosen today. They are tuned different, and they suit stuff better that way. Well, you don't have to sit here and tune guitars all day. I yeah. just switch and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, this song is by the Hollies. I always love this song. It's called The Air That I Breathe. If I could make a wish, I, I think I'd pass. Can't think of anything I need. No. I would say. I would say. It was by the Hollies. I would say. What years? 68. 68. See, he, he wins trivia, and, and this just drives me crazy. I don't know how you put all that in your head. Well, a lot of it's not there anymore. <laughs> Where did it go? Speaking of that geezer status. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, do you want to switch guitars? Do you want to stick on that one a little Are we bit? doing another song now? It's up to you. Let's just it's talk a you. while. Okay, all right. You've got a lot of songs to do. Okay, we're going to produce the DVD of special songs that are fan favorites. What if you find out that your fans like songs better than you do, because you have some specials that you do. What if a fan says, I want to hear John Denver, Ain't It Good to Be Back Home? Yeah. You're going to be able to do that? For the new CD? Yes. Well, that would require a recording session. Yes, so it would. Maybe not between now and Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pull. It's going to be a compilation of okay. things we've done. All right. You know. Okay. Okay. Because one of the things that people and today I have a gift for Gail that you're. Can you drop it off in her mailbox? Sure. Okay. This is Smoky Mountain Memories, and it is yeah. one of my forever favorite songs that I've listened to probably a million times. And she said she was having a hard time finding it. Well, I had made this CD a long time ago, probably about the time I interviewed Earl Thomas Conley. And when we look at the magic of the music today, 
so many of the guys who who really made music what it is are gone. Uh-huh. They're gone. They're gone. Can you think of? Um, I'm thinking Billy Joe Royal. He's gone. Um, Mac B.J. Davis, Thomas, Mac, Mac Davis, Davis, Mac yeah. Davis, what a writer, I know. what a producer, Yeah, gone, gone. B.J. was good, I love B.J. Yeah, now did you honestly like Elvis? Yes, Lord, yes, yeah. yes, love yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and do you know how long he's been gone? I remember the very day he left. Isn't it crazy that there's a whole lifetime of two generations I know. never heard his music, but they will go out today and buy his music because the music is forever. Yeah. The music is forever. And I think that's why the CDs coming out and, and putting everything together that people can keep, people can treasure, because one day we're all going to be gone. Yeah. And that DVD, you produce the DVD of the beautiful mountains and the beautiful music, and it's forever. Yeah. Now, what if people quit having DVD players? I know. Well, they can stream it. Put it on YouTube. That mm-hmm. way it'll be there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the most important thing that we've done is capture all these moments and put them on YouTube. Yeah. Now, and I've never had the thought ever an inkling, what if YouTube goes away? Because YouTube is... <clears throat> you mean like if Elon buys it and yeah, yeah. shuts it down? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Elon. Yeah. yeah. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> But, but we think about, we all went to YouTube to protect what we have. Yeah. Well, we gotta protect it ourselves. We gotta uh, put no. it in a safe. But then you gotta have a, <clears throat> remember eight tracks? You've got something on a mini, what's it called? A mini, mini disc. disc? Yeah. Mini disc. We gotta find a mini disc, because there's something really cool that we need to yeah, no. play. Yeah. So we have to find, there are things that are no longer popular and now, is it pretty much flash drives? Everybody kind of delivers stuff on a flash drive? That's a good way of transferring, Lord, yeah. Yeah. And when you do, because I've sat in on your sessions where you start drums, bass, guitar, da 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 da, and you produce the music. I was watching last night on ETC and Larry Davis and Vic, and then their steel player, Tim Hamilton, and Tim's son was there. And then I can't remember the gentleman's name over to the left. And then the drummer, the drummer did a George Jones song. And I liked the way he played drums because he quietly played drums. Yeah. He just, it was an accent, it wasn't overwhelming. I know. And the drummer sang and it was really, really good. But those were all those instruments by different people. I don't think people realize when you produce your work, it is you on every instrument, which is pretty awesome. Well, for the most part, yes. Yeah. And I use Larry Stewart and Tim Hamilton a lot on steel, but sometimes it's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And um, the drums, you said a couple of shows ago, that's kind of the first thing you learned I to play? I have to do my own drums. Can't nobody do it right. <laughs> he's picky. Oh, God, yeah. he's picky. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say he's... I don't know what the drummers <laughs> I've run slap out of there. Oh, gosh. Now, what if somebody wants you to produce something for them? You don't have time right now, do you? No, I I got too much. I got things going on in my little studio right now. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to be busy for a while. But when you look back at the people you've produced and, like, you know, the families that are no longer here, the Chansey family, they're gone. Um, There's so many people who capturing that moment is so very important. So, again, take your iPhone and go sit on the porch where Grandma and sing. Now, did you ever sit on the porch with Grandma and Grandpa and the family sit around and sing? I don't think Grandma and Grandpa, but I did sit there with them a lot and talk. Uh, and uh, I'm one of these. I always said, well, I got to get back down there and I got to do this, and then they die. Everybody, I'm always mm-hmm. saying, I got to go see old so-and-so. I got to do this, and then they're gone. Yeah. So yeah. don't let that happen to you, folks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I always talk about Boardtown and going to see Margie and Charlie Mull, and they were like parents to me. And I just remember pulling up in the yard, and Margie always wanted to show me the plants and wanted to talk about her flowers, and, and that was just joy to her. And then all of a sudden, after Charlie died, she got dementia. And yeah. then she was there, but she was gone, you know? I know. She didn't, she would always, I'd get out of my car, and she'd say, oh, that's that pretty lady from TV. And I thought, she doesn't even remember my name, and she's known me for 40 years. And it just, it hurts. Yeah. So so go visit those old folks and, yes. and capture that Make moment. Make the trip. Go capture see that them. moment. Yep. Okay, you got another song you want to do? 
Well, let's see. Can you do the Glen Campbell one about a kindness? I bet I could. Yeah, because I just think that a little kindness goes a long way. Yeah. Now, this song I sang for all of you people who were in the room with us that day in Miss Marie Holt's room. And Miss Holt, if you're watching, you're the best school teacher <laughs> ever. Okay? <laughs> Love you so much. And uh, Miss Holt brought everybody into our, our room from the whole seventh grade. And it was packed in there real tight. And I sang this song. Randy Hyde sat along beside me that day. Well, Glenn Campbell, you know him? Yeah, yeah, I finally figured him out. <clears throat> Sound like Johnny Cash, he hums for it. If you see your brother falling by the way, just stop and say, you're going the wrong way. And if you see your sister standing by the road with a heavy load, with a seed she sowed, you've got to show a little kindness, show a little kindness. Just shine your light for everyone to see. And if you try a little kindness, you'll the blindness of the narrow-minded people on the narrow-minded street. Don't walk around down and out, lend a helping hand instead of doubt. For the kindness that you show every day will help someone along their way. If you just show a little kindness, show a little kindness, just shine your light for everyone to see. And if you show a little kindness, you'll overlook the blindness of the narrow-minded people on the narrow-minded way. Who did Glenn Campbell play guitar for in the 60s? Many, many, many people. In he, 1965? I, the most notable, I know, I know, I know, the most notable, I'm getting there, okay? He played, he was a session musician. You may not know this, folks, some people don't, but Glenn Campbell was the rip-roaringest guitar player that we've ever known. He was really, really good. He was a session musician, played on records all over everywhere that you hear every day and you didn't know he was playing. Then the most notable one you're talking about, rather, I guess, is Brian Wilson and his band, the Beach Boys. That's right. That's right. It was amazing to me to see, because Brian Wilson was a bit of an eccentric, <clears throat> but he was a musical genius. Oh, yeah, gosh, yeah. He was a musical genius, and for him to capture Glenn Campbell, and he captured him because he, he obviously had heard him in a session, and then I he brought him on the road with him. Yeah. And a what a combination of amazing talent, uh, amazing talent. Glenn Campbell. Now, you never mentioned the Beach Boys music. Have you ever done their music? No, gosh, it takes so many singers. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're so full of vocals. Good stuff. Yeah, good, good stuff. stuff, good stuff. Brian Wilson was in the studio, in Abbey Road studio, the night they recorded, or they finished or whatever, uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Wow. And he went back out of the studio. When he left, he came back to where they were working and told the Beach Boys, how will we ever compare to this? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Pepper, yeah. Oh, <laughs> how are we gonna top this one, he said. <laughs> how many records did the Beatles sell? I don't know, a lot. More than Michael Jackson? I think, I don't think so. I think Michael Jackson passed them up somewhere later, way down the line. But here's mm -hmm. what you got to consider. The Beatles did that in 1964 when there were no record buyers. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Know? The population itself. The population was, yeah, yeah, yeah something like yeah. wasn't even half what it was by then. And uh, the... Uh, and Elvis, think about what he sold 
in his I lifetime, know. but then after his death. Oh gosh! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. Have you been to Graceland? I have not. I've been one block from Graceland, having breakfast with my sweet husband, and I said, "Is there any way we can go to Graceland?" And he said, "In a tractor and trailer." I don't think so. <laughs> so we didn't get to go. I've never I been went there. And uh, were you disappointed? No. No, was, you loved it. It was very nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, did the walkthrough. I was looking at that pool table, and I was taking pictures of the pool table, and I kept getting uh, cussed, uh, uh, fussed out for, you're not supposed to take pictures yeah, with exactly. a flash in there. Yeah, yeah. I did anyway. Yeah. And uh, I was thinking, the Beatles were around this table. <laughs> the Beatles played here with Elvis. And I found out later it was at his Hollywood home where oh, the Beatles no. visited, not Memphis. <laughs> oh, that's wild. But anyway, it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you've got some more music to do today. What other groups in this era were you really in love with? Oh, well, uh, there's lots of them. Just, uh, <clears throat> I really liked... Uh, did course, you like Peter, Paul, Beatles. and Mary? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Again, yeah. a lot of vocals. A lot of vocals. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the song Cruel War? Yeah. Yeah, that is, oh my gosh, that's one of those. I, I think about these Vietnam vets and I think about what happened to them and I think about the time of <clears throat> peace and love that we should be sharing today. And so yeah. the song you just did to share a little kindness, I, I think it was very appropriate for today's world. Yeah. And I sung that in the seventh grade. Seventh grade. Miss, Miss Holt set me up on the corner of her old wooden desk and I just sung the song. Did you have your, your guitar with you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had my guitar, my old, uh, old uh, arch top K. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, what you going to do next? Got a song here. It's by Cat Stevens. This one's different. Really different. That's the whole idea about today. We got to be different. Baby, I love you. Now that I've lost everything to you, you say you got to start something new. And it's breaking my heart, you're leaving, baby, I'm grieving. But if you have to go, take good care. Hope you make a lot of nice friends out there. But just remember there's a lot of bad and beware. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by just up on a smile. Baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by Just up on a smile, girl You la 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 You know I've seen a lot of what the world can do And it's breaking my heart in two Cause I never wanna see you sad, girl Don't be a bad girl But if you have to go, take good care Hope you make a lot of nice friends out there But just remember there's a lot of bad and beware Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by just up on a smile Baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by just up on a smile, girl. La 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 Guess what? We've got time for two more songs. So you have to pick two out of your list that you really love. Okay. 
You mean right now? Right now. Let's get them in. Okay, then. Let's get them any concert in. Yeah. How about a gospel? I love that. That's That'd all from great. the theme for today. That would be awesome. That would okay. be awesome. Okay. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Leads me safely through the sinking sand, it is the Christ of Calvary. This will be my prayer, dear Lord, each day that I may do the best I can. For I need the light to guide me day and night. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Jesus, hold my hand. I need thee every hour. Hear this pilgrim land. <clears throat> Protect me by the power. Hear my feeble plea. When I kneel in prayer, I hope to meet you there. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Wow. All right. That's getting it done. One more. We have time for another song. We do. Okay. We do. Uh, Go D tune. <laughs> Way back in my memory, there's a scene that I recall of a little rundown cabin in the woods. Where my daddy never promised that a blue moon would turn gold But he'd lay awake nights wishing that it would <clears throat> When the world was on our radio, hard work was on our minds We lived our day to day in plain dirt fashion With old overalls and cotton balls all strapped across your back it's hard to make believe there ain't nothing wrong. But mama played the guitar then, and daddy made the saw blade bend, and raindrops played the tin roof like a drum. And I just kept on dreaming that a song that I was singing takes me down the road to where my name is known. Now I'm gone. It's a long, hard road. Yay. Look at the time. Time oh, flies time when you're having flies. fun. Does, you know, we need to does. figure out a way to get in about a two-hour concert in an hour. <laughs> I don't know how we can do this. Yeah. Um, thank you for today. Thank you for opening your heart and, and for sharing your amazing music. And I'm so excited that the project will be done by Christmas. Christmas. That's the plan. That's Wait, the plan, plan, not plan. plan. That's yeah. the plan. Um, if you want to pick up some of his music, you can call me at 404-375-0590. We'll get you CDs. We'll get you whatever you're interested in. But you know, it's all about the man and the music, and it's all about keeping the memories alive of Ella J. And, yes. and you know, from Ball Ground to Turtle Town, there's so many tiny towns. Now, can we say you've written a few lines of, of a song about Ball Ground? Got He's gotten working. started a He's little working. bit. Yeah. He's working, and I'm excited. It's really cool. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm I can't get, wait to share get it. Get it moving. I can't wait to share it. We've got some thank yous today, too. You know, when we think about the Dairy Queen, those boys went above and beyond, and thank you so very much. We had coupons to give out. We had chicken tenders galore. Just a good, good group of people. Please support your local Dairy Queen. They've been our sponsors for a long, long time. And um, they're, they're about what is good in this community, those local folks with local jobs, 
that take care of business. Right. And very, very important. So I'd like to point out that ETC is a locally owned company. Absolutely. They provide home security. They provide internet. They provide TV. And I want to thank them. And a landline. You have a landline. Well, I have a landline. I a sure landline. do. Yeah. Not many people yeah. still have a landline. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. don't lose service that way. That's right. That's I want right. to say thank you to ETC for this opportunity. Yep, yep. And and that's what it's about. It's an opportunity to bring good, wholesome music into your home um, live. And, and thank you for being there. And, you know, that's what it's about. It's about from ball ground to Turtle Town. And, and what matters are the memories that we're going to keep alive. And I think that's so very important. So... And you know, when we think about the Davis family, I was watching last night, and so many of them have gone to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, just a couple of them left, and, and I thought, man, we've captured the moment. So we're going to leave you today with a little bit of one of the songs that made you, I guess, Mr. LJ. That's what nailed it, is he wrote a song about these apples and this beautiful city. And again, we say it often, if you've only seen the roundabout, you have not seen LJ. So get out and go the back roads. Yes. Get out and learn something about um, Highway 52 West. Go out and, and go to Fort Mountain and just walk up there and stand and look get at the in, Get in your 50 GMC and ride around <laughs> these back roads. That's you it. don't know what you're missing. That's it. That's it. That's it. So today we're going to leave you with some music from uh, from Dwight Sanford. And it was, was it the first song you ever did? Welcome to L.A.J.? The first song I recorded? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no, no. That was way okay. down the line. Way down the line. Okay, yeah. so sit back. And can we also say, where's that line? How do you like them yeah, apples? Yeah, <laughs> right before the Telecaster starts. <laughs> Don't forget, it is apple season. Please go out and visit any of our apple houses. We love r &A orchards. We love the Futch family. And um, if it weren't for the Futch family, I wouldn't be here today. So thank you so much. And again, here we go with a little bit of Welcome to LJ. About 90 miles north of Atlanta, where the Kusawati lay, they come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills in a town called LJ. When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette, Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet. What you see is exactly what you get if you come to L.A. J. Hey, hey. L.A. J. A mighty fine place to be. L.A. J. L.A. J. Good enough for you and me. Yeah. Apple blossom, baby possum, muscadine. for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404 360